So one of the reasons why I started making these videos is because I feel like it's getting ridiculous in Canada. I mean, it is completely ridiculous, and I wanted to get, I guess, my point of view out there. And hopefully this is a general point of view. I mean, obviously, it is completely wrong. So this guy, right, this 22-year-old guy and his mother, single mother, was at home, right, sleeping at 5 a.m. in the morning, three guys try to break into their house. Actually, they broke into the house, right? They broke into the house with guns, right? They're not supposed to have guns, so they're illegal firearm owners. And they had gun, they broke into the house, and now this guy had a gun too, but he was a registered firearm owner. So he was registered to have a gun. Now, th these three guys, I don't know what they were trying to do, but this is what the police says. So this is what the police says, right? The police says the group of suspects suspect entered the home with an intent on committing a robbery now if they were truly trying to commit a robbery or not who knows right nobody knows that but obviously they were trying to break into the house with guns right i mean they could have been trying to break into the house to hurt hurt them right who knows right but anyways their conclusion is that these guys were trying to break into the house to commit a robbery now the 22 year old right and I guess he went to get his gun because because he was, you know, he heard something was happening and he went to get his gun. And then there was exchange of fire. A number of shots were fired by both sides, right? And one of the robber was killed, all right? So one of the robber was killed. And right, what is happening now is that he is being charged with manslaughter. Second degree murder charges, right? For protecting his house, for protecting himself. You see, this is the reason why I'm making these videos, because I feel it's so ridiculous nowadays. I don't know what this world has become to. I don't even know what, like, it makes me feel like, hey, you shouldn't be working. Why are you working and paying these people? And essentially, what is going to happen is you're not being protected. I mean, it feels like you're just wasting your life away, right? So, it is one of the worst situations you could be in and i why isn't there any protests for this guy i mean this guy is obviously like i can't say he's 100 percent innocent but you know if the police is telling me the story that hey these guys are trying to rob the house and the homeowner was just trying to protect themselves then obviously clearly you know you shouldn't be pressing second degree murder charges all right that doesn't make sense at all you could be saying hey you're still investigating but if you're pressing charges for this situation, obviously, clearly, it doesn't look be, uh, good to the world. I mean, supposedly, Canada is a first world, you know, developed country. But the laws and stuff like that, it looks like we're degenerating. We're not no longer no first world country. It's like we're a degenerated country, right? I mean, what the hell, right? Who who does this? I think most people watching this video what, that saw this news was like, what the hell, right? I mean, if you go on to Facebook, which I'm not going to go on to, you'll see... He, people have been saying this guy should be given a medal, right? He he protected his family. He did everything right. But somehow he's being charged with manslaughter. And this is what third world countries do. It's called injustice, right? When the criminals get away with things and the person, the good law abiding person is hit with the wrath of the law, right? I mean, th this is like, this is a, what third world countries do. And this is what, Canada is signaling to the world, right? If you're being robbed, right? That is the right of the robber, right? So let them rob you. Now, if you're being raped, that is the right, the right of the raper. So let them rape you. Now, if you're being stabbed, like what's happening on the TTC, right? That's their right. And, you know, if you, you defend yourself, obviously what happens is you're going to go get into jail. Now, I'm not saying this. This is what they're implying through what is happening with this charge here. And you notice that there's a lot of stabbing, TTC stabbing, a lot of slashing, a lot of abductions. You know, a woman was just abducted yesterday, right? Right in plain public. And, you know, the police are going after these people, right? These law-abiding people. I mean, why don't you go after these real criminals, right? I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's quite disappointing, but... If you have something to comment, you can always comment. And, of course, why isn't there any protests? There, people should be up in arms about this, and there's no protests. Quite disappointing.